right, guys, we're back here in my little shop area. Uh, we've been building a Santa Maria out of a 55 gallon drum and some scrap metal. Well, on this video, we're going to be building the top part. So, uh, follow along and uh, check out and see what, what it looks like at the end. Uh, if you uh, would, please subscribe if you like this stuff and let me know so I can make more videos like this for you. All right, come on with me. Let's go. Come on. All right, right here we're uh, getting the standpipe level and square so we can weld it up to make this thing work right. They got to be nice and square. The top piece, I just got it tacked up there to hold them. Alright, you can tell here where we welded it all up. Don't look at the welds. I'm not the perfect welder, but it's not going to fall apart. So just overlook all my welds. I had a hard time with this, this thin stuff with a stick welder. Alright, here you can see I made a different grade. I didn't like the other one. I got my square bars going around my risers to help glide it up and down. I uh, you can see here where I drilled the hole in my riser. Getting ready to put my bar in. Okay, here we got the rebarbed in. Here's another shot of the whole thing. I right, here I welded S hooks onto the grade frame. So we can hook our cables up to it and pull it up and down. Here's another shot of it with the cable hooked to it. Like I said, don't look at the welds. Alright, here we're drilling hole, uh, inch and a quarter holes in the bottom for the air. So our fire can get some air underneath our grades. All right, here's another picture of the air hole from the inside. It's going to be right under our grade, so our fire, be, our coals will be sitting up above it. Now we're putting the S hooks up on the rebar. I'm gonna bend this around it and weld it up here in a little bit. Here we welded it up. Here we got our cable hooked to it. You notice on the right hand side of this picture I got the ratchet. Uh, already welded on too. Sorry, I didn't get enough pictures of that. That was a pain in my, you know what. Here's the other side. Here's the cable all hooked up on one side. We're going to cut the slack off 
and put it on the other side. I don't know why that bar looks blue because uh, it's got gray primer on it. Okay, here we welded up the uh, top piece and welded up the. I put a washer and nut on the end of my rebar so it won't go uh, the wrong way. And this is what we're going to turn our bar rebarb with. Most of the time, some you know they put a hand crank or a, a wheel. Well, I did something a little different. I had a big long, big long spatula, spatula. So I welded that on there. Be a little different. And here we go. Now the jack is on there for just weight, so I can show you it, it'll pick up weight. I don't have my lock welded on yet, so this thing does get away with me. <laughs> See there? But with that lock, it, it'll click down each each little thing. Here's a picture of it up. Also, uh, check out my other page, Smokeaholics Barbecue World. There's another shot for you. Because I will be using this cooking on my other channel, Smokeaholics Barbecue World. So check it out too. I'm just doing the build on my Chase Coast Outdoorsman, and the cooking part will be on Smokeaholics Barbecue World. So check us out on both pages. And I just want to uh, thank you. For following along, I hope you watch it to the to the end, to the final product. That will be our next video. So uh, don't uh, don't forget to come and check out the next video because you'll see me painting it and burning it, or burning it and painting it. Hi right, guys, that's gonna be it for this part of the video. Uh, we're done with the Santa Maria, the top part of it. And uh, the next one, or the next video, will be me burning it out and then painting it. So uh, check me out on the next video and see the end. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button and the like button. Let me know that you like this stuff. And I'll see you on the next one.